Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a review, demo, and swatches on the new Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. Um, he is a professional makeup artist and he is known to do makeup on like Kim Kardashian. So this is the newest palette Anastasia has come out in collab with Mario. I do include a review and swatches and also a mini tutorial on this look that I am wearing right now. So if you would like to know a little more about this palette, what I think about it, and to also see a mini tutorial on this look, just keep on watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. So let's get started. So I purchased my palette on the Anastasia website when they first launched it and I believe it's sold out on Anastasia. I don't think she's going to be restocking this palette but they do sell this palette at Ulta and Sephora. It retails for $45 and um, Anastasia did mention that once this palette sold out, it was sold out. So if you're eyeing this palette, you should definitely pick it up because they are not going to be restocking this palette. Once it's sold out, it'll be sold out. And I believe it's sold out on the Anastasia website um, like in a day and a half, almost two days. So yeah, they do still have it. Last time I checked on Ulta and Sephora, they do still carry this palette. So if you're thinking about picking it up, you definitely should. It's a very special limited edition item. So once they sell out, it will be sold out. So the palette of course comes in this beautiful black packaging with gold detailing. It says Master Palette by Mario and with the Anastasia logo right here as well. And you turn it around and it has a picture of the shades that are inside the palette with a little more information. It says Master Palette by Mario eyeshadow palette. And it says a special edition eyeshadow collection created with celebrity makeup artist Mario Deddy Vanovic? Deddy Vanovic? <laughs> the palette contains 12 neutral and jewel tone shades in a range of matte to metallic finishes. So let's go on and open it up so I can show you what it looks like. So the palette looks exactly the same as the packaging as you can see here. Um, I really like the packaging. So when you open it up it does come with this plastic protective case and it does also come with a mirror here. And it also comes with these shades right here. These shades are beautiful. Um, as you can see, I have been using mine since I got it. I've had this palette for about four days and I really like this palette. I love everything about it, but let me go on with reviewing this first. So it does come with a brush here and um, I haven't used this brush yet, but it does come with like a fluffy blending brush and also a flat definer brush here. Um, they are actually really soft. They don't feel scratchy on my skin. So again, here is the palette. I love the shades that are in this palette. I was thinking, oh, these palette, this palette has really pretty jewel tone shades. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I really like this palette. I was, mem I was really mesmerized when I saw it. I was, when I first received it, I was like, this is so pretty. The shades in this palette are really buttery and really pigmented. You don't really need to pack on your brush when you're applying one. When you're going to be applying it to your lids they're really creamy and buttery and they do have fallout the fallout just means that they are super pigmented but yeah um let me go on and swatch these for you so i did swatch the first row right here you can't really see this one but this one's called hollywood and this is described as a metallic wheat gold with a satin finish and then this one is called nyc and it's a rich chocolate brown with a satin finish. This next one is called Kim. And he actually named this shade for Kim Kardashian. And it's described as a ultimate tan with satin finish. <laughs> this next one is called Muse. And it's a rose gold with satin finish. This next one is called Marina. And it's a champagne with a metallic finish. And this last shade is called Claudia and it's a slate with a velvet finish. So the second row, so this first shade right here is called Lula and it's a soft taupe with a ultra matte finish. This next one is called Isabel and it's a burnt orange with an ultra matte finish. This one is called Violetta. And it's a dark chocolate with ultra matte finish. This next one is called Fifth Avenue. And it's a gold leaf with metallic finish. 
and this color here is called Bronx and it's a metallic olive with a satin finish and this last shade right here is called Paris and it's a gilded brown with a satin finish so overall I really 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 <laughs> like this palette I think it's gorgeous if you're thinking about getting this palette and not sure if you should pick it up or not I think you definitely should it's really buttery creamy very pigmented as well as you could see these shades are gorgeous you just definitely need this palette so the pros about this palette is pigmented there's blendability um, the shades are gorgeous really really like they just blend together so nicely um, the cons, the only, I do have a con about this palette. The only con I have really is that they didn't include like a black or a dark brown shade. They are saying Violetta is a dark chocolate, but I wish there was like a darker brown shade because like this look, um, to deepen up this look, I used Claudia here and I don't really want to be using blue every time I do a look. So I just wish they had included like a black or a darker brown in this palette. But overall, I really like this palette. And if you were debating whether to pick it up or not, I think you definitely should pick it up. This is definitely one that you should have in your collection. So that is what I think about this palette here. So for me, I think this palette is a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and swatch video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to like this video as well. So if you would like to see how I created this look right here, just keep on watching. So to set my primer, I'm taking the shade Hollywood in this master palette. Next up, I'm taking the shade Isabel and I am applying it in my crease just to start a transition shade for my look. Here, I'm taking the shade Violeta and I am also applying this shade in my crease just to deepen up the crease area. For the lid shade, I took the shade Marina in this palette. To deepen up the outer corners, I took the shade Claudia and just applied it to the outer parts of my eyes. To finish off this look, you can apply liquid eyeliner and also just coat your lashes with a few coats of your favorite mascara and also coat your bottom lashes and this look is complete. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.